Hello, today I am going to show you how to play MapleStory with a controller using Steam. Grinding mobs with a controller puts less stress onto my hands compared to a keyboard and allows me to get in a more comfortable position to play or watch something on my second monitor. First, we have to have MapleStory installed through Steam. If you don't have MapleStory installed through Steam, open your Steam library, click add a game in the bottom left corner, then select add a non-Steam game and find your MapleStory exe file by either using the search list or browse through the installation directory. Go through your Steam directory and right click on your Steam EXE file and select properties. Go to compatibility and enable run as administrator. Next go through the Steam directory, then Steam apps, then common and MapleStory and then find a MapleStory EXE file or where your MapleStory is installed if you did not install through Steam. And like what we did for the Steam.exe file, right click, select properties, then go to the compatibility tab and tick Run as Administrator and click Apply. Now your controller inputs can be read by MapleStory. So on the Steam Launcher, go to MapleStory and have your controller connected to your PC. The controller can be wired or wireless. I have a wireless PS4 controller plugged to my PC because it just runs smoother and it's less buggy. Now you should see a controller icon appear on the Steam Launcher. Click the icon and it will show the controller inputs. Select the current button layout and we're going to go to the Templates tab and select a simple gamepad template and click apply. Now we can go and edit the layout. Here we have the options for buttons, z-pad, triggers and joysticks. Go through each option and set them up the way you like. I prefer to have X as my jump, R1 as my main mobbing skill and move around with my left joystick. If your character has more skills than the number of buttons available, you can go to the Action Sets tab down in the bottom left. On your default layout, click the setting icon and select Add Layer. I am going to name it Skills. This will add another action set which can be toggled from your default set. Now, just click any of the other menu selections to exit the Action Set menu. And on top, you can see the L and R selection buttons. Click R and it should change to a different Action Set layout. Go through the Skills layer and add your new key binding. Now going back to the default layer by clicking L, we are going to set the toggle for the skills layer that we have added. This is my personal preference, select the triggers menu and under the left trigger behavior, select add command. Then go to the action set tab, select hold action set layer and in the layer drop down menu, make sure that the skills action layer has been set. After setting up the controller layer, exit back out to the main controller menu. Export the layer so it is saved. If the export button is not visible, click settings icon and export layer should be available. And now you can play MapleStory with a controller. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. Thank you for watching.